Hello there, welcome to my channel. In this video, we shall be discussing eight women in the Bible from the King James Version. The Bible doesn't contain as many girl names as it does male names, which can make for fewer choices for faith-based families. In our modern era, they make great unisex names like they can be for boys and names can, that can be for girls as well. If you're looking for divine inspiration, one of the biblical girl names on this list might do the trick. These sacred girl names all appear in the Bible, either as a name for a woman, place, or in some cases, men. If you're the religious type, one of these may be suitable for your daughter. We have possibilities from both the New Testament and the Old Testament. Mary is the first name found in the Bible that we shall be discussing in this video, but Mary has um, is uh, given to like uh, at least five names, five of them which will be discussed in this video. And uh, let's go down to the meaning of Mary. Miriam is the Hebrew name for Mary. Mar Maria in Latin from Greek and it's transliterated as Mariam from Aramaic. Hebrew variant is Miriam. In Latin, it means of the sea. It means rebellion, bitter, or wished for child. The true Israelite, model, disciple, woman of faith and faithfulness. Of course, the first Mary we know is uh, from the Bible is Mary, the mother of Jesus. She may be found in the following passages uh, from the Old Testament and also we have a passage from the I mean the New Testament and a passage from the Old Testament. We have uh, for general references we can find them in the books of Matthew, Luke and and uh, their visit when she visited her cousin Elizabeth um, it's also mentioned in the book of Luke chapter 1 verses 39 to 56. When she attended the feast at Jerusalem with her husband Joseph and her son Jesus, uh, how, how they started uh, to return and miss Jesus when she, Jesus was lost only to be found after a few days talking to the um, um, elders in the, in the mosque, in the church in during that time. She is also present with Jesus at a marriage in Cana where the first miracle happened where um, Jesus turned water into wine. She seeks Jesus when he is teaching in a house, in a synagogue. We call them synagogue at the time. And present, she was present at the cross. She is committed to the care of John at the foot of Jesus in, the, in Mount Calvary. She dwells with the disciples in Jerusalem. And Isaiah prophesied um, her existence, her life, her being chosen in the book of Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. Another Mary is Mary of Cleophas, the sister of Mary herself, according to some historians, apparently the half-sister of Mary, the mother of Jesus. And we have the references here which says that she is the mother of James the Less and Joseph or Joseph, and she is there at the sepulchre. She assisted in preparing the body of Jesus for burial, and she was a witness of the resurrection. She's the wife of Alphaeus, one of the mere bearers she, she is, and as we remember, um, two of the disciples were sons of um, Alphaeus, and that means they're also the sons of Mary of Cleophas. Mary of uh, Joachim, the mother of Jesus, daughter of Anne, Mary of Bethany, sister of Martha and Lazarus, Mary of Cleophas, mother of Joseph and Joseph and James the Lesser, wife of Alphaeus, Mary Salome of Salomon's mother of James the Greater, John Mark, wife of Zebedee and sister of Barnabas, Mary Magdalene, a Christian in Rome. Okay, these are the Marys we shall be talking ab uh, about, and aside from Mary, the mother of Jesus, and Mary of Cleophas. Mary of Sal uh, Mary Salome is the sister, another half sister of 
Mary, the mother of Jesus, she's the mother of John Mark and James the Greater. She's the wife of Zebedee, a sister of Bar Barnabas. Uh, so John Mark and James the Greater are the sons of Zebedee who went with Jesus as uh, to be his disciples. And, and uh, as we may conclude that they are also the sons of Mary Salome. Okay, Mary of Bethany, the sister of Lazarus, and the sister of Martha. She's the one who sat at Jesus' feet for instruction. She's the beloved of Jesus, and she she anoints Jesus, and everything is found in the um, New Testament from the Bible. Mary Magdalene, uh, Magdalene is the one who's possessed of the devils and delivered by Jesus. She was present at the crucifixion, at the sepulchre. She recognized Jesus after the resurrection, and she was um, thought of the Christian woman mentioned in the book of Romans, chapter 16, verse 6, uh, by um, Paul, as he was talking to uh, our brothers and sisters who were subjects in the, in the, um, from the book of Romans. We now are now ready to meet another um, woman from the Bible. She's Sarah. Sarah means Sarai. My princess, the name originally born by Sarah, uh, found in Genesis chapter 11, verse 31, 17, verse 15. Sarah is the wife of Abraham. She's the near, kin, near of kin to Abraham. Abraham represents her as his sister, and Abimelech, the king of Jerusalem, takes her. She is restored to Abraham by means of a dream. She is sterile and gives her maid Hagar to Abraham as a wife. Her jealousy of Hagar is also mentioned in the book of Genesis, her miraculous conception of Isaac, so that um, the words of the Lord will be fulfilled that Abraham will be the father of all nations. And her name was changed from Sarai to Sarah. She gives birth to Isaac at the age of, uh, she was in her 90s then. The death and burial of Sarah is mentioned also in the book of Genesis. Okay, you can read more about her character in the book of Hebrews and First Peter from the New Testament. Rebecca is another woman from the Bible. Yeah, Rebecca can be written R-E-B-E-C-C-A. It means captivating, snare, fat, fat, and a quarrel, a beast. She's the daughter of Bethuel, grannies of Abraham, becomes Isaac's wife, mother of Esau and Jacob, passes as Isaac's sister. She's displeased, displeased with Esau's wives. She prompts Jacob to deceive um, Isaac and sends Jacob to Laban. Burial place is also mentioned in the book of Genesis. And she's called Rebecca in the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 10. The last woman we shall be dealing here in this video is Rachel. Another name to write, way to write Rachel is Raquel, especially Spanish speaking nations. She's a daughter of Laban and the wife of Jacob, mother of Joseph and Benjamin. As we all know, Joseph is uh, the one who delivered the people of the Israelites from Egypt, right? Um, having the favor of the Pharaoh at the time. Rachel meets Jacob at the well. Jacob serves Laban 14 years to secure her for his wife. Yes, because at first he was deceived by Rachel's sister Leah. It wasn't Leah, but the father did it. And the sterility of Rachel was can be read also from the book of Genesis. Her grief in consequence of her sterility gives her maid to Jacob in order to secure children in her own name. Later, um, she becomes the mother of Joseph and Benjamin. She steals the household images of her father, her death and burial in Genesis and 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 2. Okay, that would be all for now, and we shall be having our um, discussions for other women in the Bible in our succeeding videos. Thank you for watching. Stay safe under God's protection. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.